Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is finally the day. You've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title of this video, you've probably heard from your friends, but it's true. They finally have brought Star Guardian Seraphine from Wild Rift to PC League. This is the first time Riot's ever done that, by the way, bringing a skin from Wild Rift to there, and I'm gonna be showing it to you guys, giving my review of it, and showing it off to you guys as someone who has played the skin quite a bit on Wild Rift, and as uh, uh, someone who is just a fan of Seraphine and the skin. Already right off the bat, one, I like the flying animation. I don't actually remember if in Wild Rift she has her stage still when she's flying, but look at this like special effects on her. It looks kind of like confetti and streamers kind of going around her. It looks cool. I, d I wonder if that's for my passive or something. Look at my stage, it has stars on it too. It is beautiful, this skin. I'm so excited. I'm sure you guys can tell for this to be coming out onto PC League. Finally, Riot announced it a few months ago that they were bringing it alongside Orianna and uh, Senna, which Orianna's already on PvE. I should have a video up on that maybe sometime tomorrow. And Senna is going to be coming next patch, so we're going to have to wait a few more weeks for that, and I plan to make a video on that one too. So... You know, it's a 1350 skin. It is going to have an icon as well as a border, and it's also going to have chromas, which it doesn't have in Wild Rift. So very exciting stuff for the Serenaders here. And for my build this game, I'm just going to be going for a Dark Harvest build. I like how I say just as if that's like the normal build to go on Seraphine. Um, yeah, I'm going to be trying my Kiss of Death build that I've done a video on maybe like three years ago at this point, but the season 13 version of it. And I am pretty hyped to just try this out. Oh my god, it's very weird. So right off the bat, I am actually liking the auto attacks a lot. They feel similar to how they feel in Wild Rift, but they look very big, which I think is a good thing for Seraphine. I love when her auto attacks just feel and look big. You see that? I throw a little star at them. And then there's even little star effects for when I hit the enemy. Very cool. The sound effect is a bit muted for the auto attack, but it doesn't feel bad. It feels just like, uh, like you're throwing... I don't know. You're throwing a magical star at them, which is literally what you're doing. And for the Q here now, so so the Q is like you throw your little pet at them. Um, when it's flying in the air, it looks kind of like a crystal. And I don't remember if in you know Wild Rift, it just looks like you're throwing the pet the whole time, if that makes sense. You see, it looks like a star that explodes into the pet, but it looks very cute either way. It kind of reminds me of Star Guardian Nico's Q, where the little toad like bounces a few times. That's what it looks like to me, but with another pet this time. So something that I do believe that this skin is going to be or going to have a little bit different from the Wild Rift version is the fact that the stage will probably change a little bit as you cast abilities, as do most of your other skins. So if you noticed, when I cast that first ability, my stage uh, lit up a little bit, so it's slightly more shimmery with yellow, like glitter and stuff. And then when I cast this, the stage becomes full on stars. Wild Rifters, let me know if it's like that inside of uh, that game too. There's like little details that I don't remember exactly if, if it's the same in Wild Rift. Finally, I cast my E. Okay, so very similar to the Wild Rift one, just musical notes, yellow uh, particle effects, and it does have a very, like that noise, that little like, when you throw the, you know, and hit them with it, it's very, uh, you hear it, which is a good thing too. So, so far I really only have good things to say. I'm I'm curious to see the recall as well because the recall would have to be a bit longer since the recalls in PC League are longer than Wild Rifts. So I'm interested to see how that kind of is. We have Evelyn here. So a really interesting thing that I'm noticing with this skin though is that the Q, normally Seraphine's Qs kind of pulse out when it hits. But this Q, it doesn't feel like it really pulses out. It feels like the circle just instantly is there, which is kind of misleading, honestly. Kind of pay to lose, because it looks like you're hitting your Q, when in reality, you see it, you don't hit it. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intended. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about in the comments, because I know I'm not going crazy here. Maybe I am. But it definitely feels a bit harder to gauge when the Q is going to deal the damage, because Seraphine's Q deals damage like a pulse. So let's go ahead and recall. I'm going to go a tier this game because I'm going to be going Night Harvester as my mythic item. So I'm going to go tier as, you know, as my first back thing. And then I'm going to be going Night Harvester, which this feels like I should be put in jail for doing. 
I should have been put in jail, honestly, like a few years ago when I first made my Kiss of Death Seraphine video, but you know, I'm still here. So that's how the passive note looks. I'll cast another ability so you can see it. They're like little crystals. They do look more detailed than I remember them looking in Wild Rift, I believe. Um, interesting stuffs. This is looking close. <laughs> there is some action going on down there. Okay, so I will say personally, I wish her notes had a bit more of a sound effect to them. Let's do another auto attack. Yeah, there's like a small sound effect for the notes, but I'm a really big fan of Seraphine skins, like indie Seraphine even. I, I, okay, I'm not a big fan of that skin. Don't take my words out of context, even though I literally said that, but I'm not a huge fan of Indie Seraphine, but I love the, the passive sound effects on it. Wait, guys, watch this. Turn off the video. Dislike this. Wait, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Click the dislike again and put it on the like video, okay? Because, guys... We're cutting the cameras, you saw nothing, we're averting our eyeballs, and that never happened, okay? So just, so we're gonna stop that right now. Oh wait, I'm coming to help you. Shields! Okay, run! <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I'll cast that ability definitely more throughout this game, but... Uh, yeah, it's like this, you know, the Wild Rift one, who would have thunk it? It's like they almost remade the same skin, and now we have to buy it again. But yeah, there's a the star at the middle of Seraphine's stage when she's casting it kind of fills out and then it leads into uh, the pulse of the heel, which is pretty cool. Also, she she does not have her ult. Might be able to kill her here. Oh no. Okay, well I get her flash. Guys, this game's looking a little sussy to me. A little sussy, Seraphine. Maybe that's what we're gonna call this. <laughs> Actually, though, this is the sussy Seraphine build. We're changing it from Kiss of Death. Uh, they have a Arius, or jungler. This is PvE. We do not ask. I love the little star effects, though, on the, the E, and it just it feels very whimsical. You know, how I want Star Guardian skins to feel. Ooh, I was hoping that that would get her. The hair looks really nice as well in this skin. Um, you know, it looks very nice. I like the little crystals in it. It's just, uh, I like the yellow color scheme as well. I think that it's very cute and I'm a fan of it. And let's go ahead and recall here again. Oh, well that's, that's that was kind of bugged. So I hop on my stage. My little pet comes out. He gives me a little, little snuggle and I throw him in the air. I actually don't know how they changed the recall from Wild Rift, like, because they had to have added, like, two or three seconds to it, probably towards the beginning, but it reminds me roughly the same as what that one was, and it's cute. It's not a bad recall at all. It's very, it's adorable. He's cute. That's kind of the theme of the skin. It's cute. So another thing I want to touch upon a little bit is the splash art. So the splash art of the skin is basically the same exact thing from Wild Rift. There is extremely, extremely, extremely minor differences to the lighting on her face in the splash art, but like 99.999% of people aren't going to notice that because it pretty much looks the same. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the splash art for the skin. If I'm being 100% honest, I think it looks kind of bad. Um, you know, just being 100% with you guys. Um, yeah, I think that it is definitely of the Wild Rift Star Guardians the worst splash art, so I'm a little sad that they didn't give it bigger changes, but I guess Riot didn't think of it as being that bad. <laughs> it's it's passable. That's I guess that's a good word for it. It's passable. Okay, doing a little bit of damage now with my, my Hextech alternator. That Q though, that they need to change that because this is bugged. Like, it looks strange. It feels strange to use compared to her other skins. Ooh. I would say as far as Seraphine skins go, this one is maybe like my... This is definitely one of my favorite ones. Like, I do very much so like this skin. I like Prestige Ocean Song a bit better, but maybe after Prestige Ocean Song, it's like my second favorite skin now. Let's see, so Syndra is not here. 
Maybe she recalled for an item or something. Oh, wait, let's go help Gwen. Oh, they see her. Oh my god, guys, these ults. These ults, can we pretend you don't see those? Can we... Hold on. Die! Okay. Can we pretend like we just don't see the ult? It's to show you guys the animation, okay? If I show you guys the ult hitting someone, you won't be able to see the animation as clear. Alright? Alright, glad we, glad we sorted that out together because... I wouldn't want you guys to think I'm just missing these ults. Absolutely not. I like the little spotlight she has too with the stars on the ground. There's a lot of uh, little particle effects that I've noticed that they've added to this skin from Wild Rift that I don't believe exists there that look really nice. I, I love the little... I love whenever Riot adds little attentions to details to skins and you can tell they put in a little bit extra effort. Although you can say that like Eric, they're just reselling you the same skin from Wild Rift, but they technically have to like remodel and report the whole thing. So I'm happy that they, you know, kept everything as well. I'm coming team! I'm coming! Alright, you don't need me. Oh, wait, she doesn't have ult. Let me just do this really quickly. Yes, finally, guys, I don't embarrass myself. Yes, I don't embarrass myself for once in my life. <laughs> so let's see, my Night Harvester is a 99 damage. Night Harvester is kind of a bad item. Honestly, Rocket Belt would have been maybe even more interesting than this, but, you know, I want to just burst people down. you guys little particles and you can hear it yourself there very cute i'm liking the movement speed that i got though from proccing that night harvester Come for the show. actually those night harvester proc on auto attacks dealing damage to a champion oh it does so my passive auto attacks also will proc night harvester that's pretty good Oh my god. Guys, please! What am I- please! I have missed every single ult this game. This can't keep happening. Like, I'm so embarrassed right now. Guys, can you give me a sympathy like, please? Like, can I get some sympathy likes on this video? Oh, the wolf guy's death animation time, but we're not dying alone. Okay, so... <laughs> The death animation is pretty much the same as her other 1350 skins. She just kind of flops off the stage. I do think that there were some little stars that came off there, which I guess is a nice little touch. I don't really expect them to change too much for, you know, the death animations for her non-legendary skins, but it's nice. I, you know, she's dead. I just, I like deserve that though. So for my second item, I don't remember exactly what I went for my second item on the Kiss of Death build all those years ago. I could go Lich Bane. I know some of you guys may be like, Eric, why aren't you going the Lich Bane static shift video? Or like a uh, build like you went in your other video. And that's because <laughs> if you guys watch that other video, which I like that video a lot, you should watch it if you haven't already. It's my last posted video. Um, I only had static shift for like three minutes before the game ended because, you know, it's your third item. So it usually takes quite a while to build that. And I don't want to rely on that this game. She dodged all my abilities so effortlessly. Okay, well, there's your flash. Guys, my ult's coming up in 10 seconds, and I know she doesn't have flash now. I just know I'm gonna miss it though. I just know I'm missing that thing. Here, let me help do this. Well, you know, honestly. Honestly, though, maybe I should do the Lich Bane Static Shiv build with this anyways, because my auto attacks proc the Night Harvester, so this is kind of just the auto attack build. Oh, I'm so dead. Dang, guys. I'm... Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet and let you guys draw your own conclusions. Oh, so close. So close. Not like this. Run! 
<laughs> Not like this, though. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's go back. It's fine. Now, we get serious. So even though I'm going a full damage build, I'm still maxing my W, which honestly goes to show how bad maxing your E is on Seraphine. Like, let's take a moment and look at this. So the mana cost goes up, which is bad. It goes up from 60 to 100, and then the damage goes up from 60 to 140. So the damage almost goes as much up as the mana cost. Literally, you like the you get like 70 damage or something. I can't math. Compared to this, where you get like like an insane amount of value. It's just it's not even a question. In other words, like on any build that you're doing with Seraphine, like do yourself a favor. Don't max that ability. It's awful. Like that's all there is to say. It's terrible. God, stop this Seraph or stop this Syndra. Stop this Sar Nemesis. Kind of spooked. We can definitely kill her. Oh, there's Ari. That's what she gets though. Do I live here though? I think I might. Oh my god, I might. Oh, she's gonna press E on me here. Oh my god, my one chance of living. <laughs> what am I doing? This is like, watch Eric lose his mind slowly over the next few minutes. Oh, she's dead dead though. Get her. She has gotten. I didn't get an assist though, so I'm mad. I'm going Glitch Fane, IDC. IDC, this is my mental breakdown, and you guys are all here to witness it. I mean, I'm still not doing awfully, right? <laughs> As I'm just lying here dead on the floor. But at least I'm looking stylish on the floor, dead. So here I go flying. So I believe that Seraphine, I don't know if she has one pet or two pets. I think that she's supposed to have two pets. So it's, I wish that they added two when she's in her home guard, I, I guess. So I'm pretty sure like she has two speakers and both are supposed to be their own kind of pet. Sing it with me. Okay. So Syndra shouldn't have flash for maybe like a minute more or something. Let's see if we can get Evelyn to come kill here. Oh, there she is. Hold on. Oh. Oh, let's hope that would get her. Whatever, we kill her then. Ari, get over here. I must auto attack her. Oh, so close. Imagine if that auto killed, though. Maybe I should have gotten the Sheen. I'm doing quite, like, suspiciously weird with these skill shots. But, like, today, I swear, guys, on my stream, I played her, like, four times in a row and ranked and won every single game and they were actually good games. So you just have to believe me when I say that I'm not always this much of a flop on Seraphian. Okay. Okay, well we have Evelyn here. Maybe we can bait him to go in on me. Take that. Oh, something's going on over here. Oh, take that. A little scared right now. I'm slightly spooked. Take shields. I also like how I believe my like my passive indicator is kind of glowing purple, and I think that's unique to the skin. Like I don't think it normally glows this kind of purple. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of mana though. The problems of not going in a lost chapter item are very, uh, very apparent right now. Okay, so let's go recall. Or actually... Oh, I should have been Presence of Mind. That's why I'm out of mana all the time. Oh, I prayed that I would be enough to, or be close enough to hit the auto attack. All right, let me just exit stage, right? I have no mana, though. Wait, okay. Oh my god. 
I hit an ult at point blank range against someone who, who literally couldn't see me. But I did it, okay? I did it. That's what you guys have to remember. Whoa, I wish I had enough mana to do anything. Oh, enough to get a kill. If you guys want to do this build, do yourself a favor too. Go presence of mine. Like, this garbage. Go presence of mine and coup de gras. It would be better. Alright, so we have our Lich Bane now too. You know, this... This is kind of exciting. I hope that I'm able to finish the static shift here. So, so far I've done 1700 damage with Night Harvester, which... Honestly? Not that bad. That, those Gwen Needles, though. Hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah. So the ultimate hunter, ultimate hunter is actually giving me a lot of ult cooldown reduction. I'd assume. It's giving me how much does it give? Six plus twenty five. Plus five for ability, yeah, right. Six plus an additional five, so twenty five thirty one percent. Is that what right? Kind of weird. Weird if true. Hold on, guys. You gotta believe in me here. Okay, never mind. Stop believing, because I'm not doing anything else. I'd rather not die. I'd rather not be on a gray screen for the next uh, however long. Here, watch this. Oh, my good ult of the game. <laughs> my good ult of the game. So let's cast a double W now that we can see my whole team shield and all the heals. So it's a little boring, not gonna lie. Uh, but, you know, it does the job. <laughs> it gets the job done, and that's what we care about here. We want to just, we want to get the job done, and we want to look cute. And does this skin accomplish that? Absolutely. So it's going to be my new catchphrase. Get the job done and look cute. <laughs> that's literally the Seraphine's motto. So I'm going to try to steal this. Probably run into Ari when I'm out of mana, and it's one health. She's going to smite it for me and then kill me. But let's hope that that's just the story in my head. Go Lich Bane. Okay. Hooray, that never happened. So now I'm gonna run into the problem that I always run when going the static shiv the static shiv Seraphine build. Which is building the static shiv. Because the components if I saw my Seraphine with a kerchief shard and a noon quiver, I would a hundred percent ping it and prop like eighty percent report her if we lose the game. So it's kind of a you know it's always just awkward, hoping that my team doesn't realize this. Oh my god, Ari got the whole the whole squad coming up on her here. Okay. Beep. Guys, this is gonna be what's called a hate crime. That's what we call the hate crime. <laughs> okay. That went better than I thought it would. Honestly, after all the things that happened this game... I thought that was gonna go way worse. Take that. Blitzy, no! Blitzy, no! Blitzy, yes. Oh no, Blitzy, no. Oh, Blitzy, yes! Guys, what was that? What? What was that? We're gonna- I'm gonna need to watch my own video and watch the replay of that. Well, I could finish the static shiv now, so let me go recall. Because I want this static shiv. I don't care if it's the last minute again, okay? I need that clickbait. I'm kidding, I'm not even gonna clickbait my video with that this time. But honestly, again, to- to- to, uh, speak about my last video, I know some people were angry at that, but I still think the video was very educational. I still built it, and I still think it was a very good video. To toot my own horn. I am I like that one. An IDC, what the haters say. Okay, so let's get this blue buff. We're getting it a little faster now because we have some more attack speed. So let's see. So static shiv is gonna be dealing 272 bonus damage to champions, plus the 178 from Lich Bane, plus the 157 from Night Harvester, plus whatever however many notes I have. I'm gonna go for Caitlyn here. Oh my god, this is like a sentry turret machine gun Seraphine. 
I'm gonna stack some notes here. I'm not even gonna attack the structures. Like, that's your job, team. My job is to do this. Here's my job, right here. Ah, yes. Me casually half-helping Syndra from across the map. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you just- I just feel like she must be so confused. Like, where is this damage coming from? Can I get her with another one, though? Oh no, maybe. Oh, I got something. I don't want to hit Blitzcrank, because he's too tanky for me anyways. Whoa. Oh my god. Team stay. We're fighting here. Here, Blitzcrank. Let's give you a little taste. So that was not that much damage. You know what, Blitzcrank? Let's give Caitlyn a little taste here. Holy damage. Okay, fight Caitlyn. Whoa. Okay, this is like bullying at this point. Okay, this is bullying at this point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you know, guys. That was Star Guardian Seraphine. Um, yeah, I love this skin. I am a big fan. Am I buying it with the border? Yes. Am I buying it with the chromas? Maybe not because I'm not. I'm not really a chroma fan in general. But I am buying the skin. I'm buying the border. I'm buying the icons. We're doing all of that because the skin is great. It's a great port from Wild Rift. I hope they do it with other skins, like maybe some of the Wild Rift uh, Myth Makers next year or at some point. I think it's great. You know, Riot makes money. We're happy. What else is there to do? Um, if you guys did like this video, make sure, you know, if you leave a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you like Star Guardian Seraphine, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up. It helps push my channel out there and it helps the YouTube AI overlord algorithm gods not be angry at me, which they, they're they constantly angry at me because I only post like once a month. So please, if you would like to, do me a little favor there. I also read all my comments. And if you'd like to subscribe for more Seraphine content and to see more skin content, uh do that as well. I would really appreciate it. And join my Discord, watch me live on Twitch. All that's in the description. Uh, what else do I want to say? I really like you guys. Okay, bye guys. Enjoy.